Dozens of arrests prompting talk of change when it comes to Chicago's Pride celebrations. WDN's Brona Tumulty joins us from East Lake View with the latest on that. Brona. Good evening, guys. Yeah, there were a lot of happy people out in Lakeview yesterday celebrating Pride. But as the night wore on, things devolved with more than 50 people arrested. Some of those charges are misdemeanors, but more than a dozen people are facing felonies. They say Pride comes before a fall, and things definitely took a tumble in Chicago after yesterday's celebrations. Large swaths of people colliding with police on the streets of Lakeview. I kept looking at my car. I was like, oh. Don't step on it. Folks in the area like Maddie say there was certainly some unruliness happening outside of her apartment. Towards like 10, um, on like a side street, there was just a ton of people like crowding and dancing and hopping on cars and hopping from car to car. Thankfully, her car is fine, but post-parade activity prompted 53 arrests. Amongst those in custody, nine juveniles, one as young as 14. Please tell us the charges range from obstruction of traffic and disorderly conduct to battery, assault and damage to property, with at least 14 people facing felony charges over their alleged behaviour. Things devolving, yeah, I've seen it. It's always a bummer. Those we chatted with, unimpressed with what transpired, telling us the city and the police department need to be more aligned, working in tandem to get Chicago on track. The police and the city have not been working together for at least 10 years, and it's not getting better, it's getting worse. Alderman Bennett Lawson issuing a statement to WGN as well, saying in part that he was extremely disappointed to see disruptive actions in our neighbourhood into the early morning hours. I am grateful to the Chicago Police Department for their quick and decisive action to limit any damage and keep people safe, and to the Streets and Sanitation Department for their great work to clean our neighbourhood. Now that statement goes on to say the alderman plans to meet with multiple departments and stakeholders over the next few days to discuss how best to prevent scenes like this in the future. Also important to note, the parade itself yesterday went off without a hitch. We're live in Lakeview, Brona Tumulty, WGN News. Thank you, Brona.